Let's count down the top 10 rides at Legoland Dubai. Number 10 Driving School Even after driving hours to get to Legoland, for many of us who cannot yet drive, and of course those Lego fans too, being able to navigate around a busy city in our very own Lego car is the most bricktastic driving lesson out there. However, it is not all putting your foot to the bricks and your hands on the wheel, as in order to receive your official LEGO driving license, you will first need to show your skills by stopping at the traffic lights, turning the right way at the junctions, and most importantly not driving any of the LEGO commuters absolutely crazy by bumping into them. Number 9 Boating School As you just saw, driving around a LEGO city is totally awesome, but due to having to be below 1.5 meters to even participate, what is more, my street, or should I say stream, is a boating lesson, where this time anyone above the age of one year can set sail, with help of course from a guided route, around a variety of aqua-themed Lego models and scenes, as either an adventurous captain of the boat, or the extremely underrated position of the passenger. Just be aware that with each lesson taking quite a while, queues can get very, very long, and so we suggest riding when it's at its quietest, either at the start or the end of your day. Number 8 Rescue Academy Gather your team and choose whether you are joining the police or fire team, as Lego City has caught on fire and it needs your help to put it out with three simple steps. 1. When the bell rings signaling the start of your mission, you will have to put the lever in the direction you want to move and then by pushing it up, you can get moving. Tired yet? We haven't even got to the fire, as when you make it halfway there, your team will have to pump the water whilst the others aim at the buildings, all before free driving back towards the station, where by knowing how to play, you will become the Rescue Academy heroes. Number 7 Dragon's Apprentice One of the highlights of any Legoland day is riding the dragon around its twisty, turny, dropping medieval themed adventure. However, with it being quite thrilling too, Understandably, many of the younger knights in the village choose not to take it on, and that, my fellow apprentice, is when this comes in, as in addition to enabling a lot more adventurers to carry aboard one of the cutest dragon trains in existence, you will still need to complete the many fun elements at pretty fast speeds, as well as encountering all of the medieval theming just without screaming the whole journey. Number 6 Lego Technic Twister Now if you guessed by the name that this is going to be very dizzy, then you would be spot on, but at the same time if you think it's for the braver minifigs in the group, then you would be completely wrong, because what makes this spin so awesome is that by using the Technic wheel located in the centre of your twister, your party decides how it spins. Therefore, for anyone out there wanting to see Lego bricks, then spin that wheel so fast that even the people watching will feel dizzy. Whereas on the other hand, leaving it alone will gradually rotate you on its two moving discs, which is definitely more me. Number 5 Kid Power Towers Who said a day at Legoland Dubai is not a workout? because amongst simply walking, pumping water and spinning discs consistently, these three towers are definitely for the fittest out there, with unlike your normal drop tower attractions, where it will slowly rise then drop again, it is in fact more similar to the dreaded rope climbing during gym class, as in order to get those spectacular bird's eye views across the whole of the land of Lego, you will first need to use all of our upper body strength to pull the rope or do a tom, let your partner do all the work climbing whilst you sort out the descent, i.e. letting go of it. Number 4 Wave Racers 
on those hot days there is no better way to cool down than on a water rise and whilst the park surprisingly has got very few of these beloved summer day attractions wave races definitely makes up for that with throughout the 3 minute long deep sea adventure you not only being able to climb over giant waves in a self control power ski although also dodging surprise a giant water blast triggered from no one else than the spectators on the shore and yes you heard me right there guys if you choose not to take the ride then you can spend your time getting all of your friends and family absolutely soaked which honestly is just as fun. Number 3 Submarine Adventure After our last few adventures we are going to have to discover the lost city of Atlantis for things to get much cooler which funny enough amongst other things is exactly what we are about to do as thanks to the state of the art Lego sub and the exploration team that will be guiding you upon your mission we will be discovering everything that lies deep within our seas from hundreds of colourful fish to Lego gods all before rising back to the ground level with our discoveries Plus as a quick Tom tip before we dive in, for your best experience, try to get the front of a sub, as sticking your head through those portholes provides a totally unique perspective. Number 2 Lost Kingdom Adventure Get your blasters at the ready and your competitiveness on, cause during an expedition through the ancient tomb, blasting targets is the aim of the game. Nevertheless, even if you choose not to get the highest score in your group, sorry, wink wink, choose not to play, you'll still have an absolute blast with the two-person off-roader vehicle spinning you around lots of Egyptian-inspired scenes, which help of course from Johnny Thunder himself, aka Lego's Indiana Jones, you will need to stop Sam Sinister from stealing the treasure that lies deep within. So no matter what you decide, good luck. Number 1 The Dragon I do not want to drag on and on about our favourite attraction or should I say experience at the park as similar to a walk through dark ride coaster all combined. If I was going to talk about every great part we would be here for an eternity. Therefore just trust me when I say that this truly is the full package. And whilst the outdoor section of this ride may look rather extreme for some guests, it is 100% worth it for what you will encounter when journeying through the castle itself on the back of a dragon. Thank you all for watching, bye bye.